Hey guys, it's Alexis, I gave this Sloth Reader, and I'm here today to do another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday is hosted by Thoughts on Tome, so I will link her channel down below, as well as the Goodreads group where they post the links and topics and such. This week's Top 5 Wednesday video is about our favorite publishers. Um, and so this is just kind of to give a shout out to the people who make books happen. Unfortunately, this one was actually pretty hard for me. Um, because most of the books I read honestly come from like three publishers. Um, I have a bunch of publishers represented um, on my shelves, but pretty much the ones that come from like outside of these like three publishers, um, I either haven't read or I really don't know anything about the actual publishers themselves, just the individual books. So that kind of made it hard to just pull out a book that I really love and be like, oh, here's one. Um, so I tried to choose books that I, I knew something a little bit about the publishers or... Um, about like the social media presence of the publishers and that kind of thing um, and that being is the reason that I chose these um, so yeah so there are gonna be different reasons why these books are all on there and I'll just go ahead and get into it the first one on my list is an interesting choice and honestly it's purely aesthetically um, the only reason I chose this publisher to put on this list is because the books that they put out are absolutely beautiful um, and that is the Barnes & Noble's publishing company who prints these beautiful things. Um, these are the leather-bound classics, and honestly, when I say that each one of these is a work of art, I really do mean that. I mean, I have not seen a single one of these that I have that has not, like, taken my breath away. Um, and each one comes with, I mean, pictures on the inside, and they're just so beautiful. And so, like, I have to give a shout out to Barnes & Nobles for making these things happen. For taking classic books um, that sometimes don't always have the most beautiful covers, either because you can only find, like, the school-approved editions or the editions that are from, like, the 70s and are, like, not holding up well. Um, and they just make these absolutely gorgeous editions. And so for that, Barnes & Nobles publishing group, you guys get to make it on this list. The next one I'm going to mention is one that I'm sure every kid in the United States is going to agree with me on, and that is Scholastic. Um, and that is, this book feels so light after I've been reading Goblet of Fire. This, this one is like nothing. Um, but Scholastic book fairs, am I right? Like, those were my favorite days in school when I was a kid getting to go to the Scholastic Book Fair and looking at all the books and the fun arts and crafts activities and stuff that they had like is awesome. Um, and so I have to commend Scholastic for not only being the publishers of amazing books, but because I really do think that they do a wonderful job trying to promote reading to children. By having things like the Scholastic Book Fairs, they make it exciting. Like They make you excited as a kid to go into the library and look through these stacks of books for something that you might be interested in. Um, and so, and I think that they do a really good job with marketing, um, but just the fact that like Scholastic has the book fair every year, like that is so important for kids who, you know, like, don't really get excited about reading, but, like, that's still an exciting event for them to do, that they can go around and still just look at the books and look at the toys and stuff. And so, I hats off to you, Scholastic, for fighting the good fight and trying to make people read. I don't know if my next option technically counts. It's a publishing company, but considering it's one of the big three comic book graphic novel publishing companies. I don't know if it counts, but it's gonna go on this list, and that is Image Comics. Um, most of my favorite comics come from um, Image, and so you probably are like, why didn't you pick Marvel or DC? That's because Marvel and DC far extends beyond publishing. Um, Marvel's owned by Disney, and you know Disney has a hand in damn everything. And DC has licensing in movies, TV shows, books, all of that. And, and so Image is really just a comic book graphic novel publishing company. Um, and so that's the reason that I chose them as my favorite publishers as opposed to Marvel or DC. Um, but Image has some absolutely wonderful stories. Um, they range from very science fiction, very fantasy, very weird, to things that are also just kind of normal, everyday, slice of life kind of stuff. Um, but I really do, I mean, and I think that there are some awesome and just very talented artists that are contracted under Image Comics. 
Um, and my favorite thing to do when I go to the comic book store is to look through the newest stuff from Image. So for that, they definitely make it onto this list. The next one I'm going to mention is probably the publishing company I read the most books from because I am young adult YA trash um, <laughs> and that is predominantly what I read. Um, and so it'll be no surprise hearing that that the publisher next on my list is going to be Harper, Harper Collins, Harper Teen, Catherine Teigen books, all of the subsets of Harper. Um, of course, they're one of the biggest publishing companies in the world. Um, but I really like the marketing strategy that Harper has applied to their young adult books. You know, they have like epic reads and all that stuff, but they have a very, very huge social media and online presence. Um, which, considering that they publish a lot of young adult books, um, I'm talking specifically like for their young adult audience, like that is such an important marketing strategy. Like, that's so smart because most teens are going to get their book recommendations from you know, Goodreads, Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube, those types of sites. So the fact that Harper is such a huge presence on social media and on um, the internet in general, and they're always very reliable for sending out arcs and for sending out really nice boxes for, like, booktubers and bookstagrammers and stuff. Like, that's just such a clever marketing strategy. Um, and that's fun for us too, especially those of us who like to read this stuff because then we get to see fun unboxing videos or we get to go on, you know, epic reads and see all the epic reads, um, quizzes and stuff like that. And it just makes it fun. It's like a fun area outside of reading, um, that Harper contributes to. And so like, this is a good, you're a... Your marketing team is, is pretty on point, Harper. The last publisher I'm going to mention is one that I pretty much have loved every single book, first of all, that I have read from them. They are a predominantly, actually they are a purely science fiction and fantasy marketing um, or publishing house, and that is going to be Tor um, and their t subset Tor Teen. I really love Tor. I mean, everything that they've put out has really just been absolutely fantastic. But I love the um, graphics team for Tor. Um, the, all of their s stuff is so pretty and so well done. Um, and I, I really like Tor too because I think that Tor has a really good um, presence with their fan base. Um, they're really reliable for sending out arcs and for sending out free copies, and they're really good about, you know, bumping up hype and stuff like that. And so I really do love Tor, though. Like, I, I think that everything that they put out is just fantastic, and I like that they pick up so many indie science fiction and fantasy people, you know. Um, not They're not indie when they get picked up by Tor, obviously, because that defeats what indie means. But, you know, so many unnamed people come through tour and I just like that tour gives them an opportunity to publish their work um but yeah if you haven't read a tour book you must not like fantasy and science fiction <laughs> but if you do like fantasy and science fiction and you haven't read a tour book what are you doing go pick this one up because it's really good and I like it a lot all right guys so that was another top five Wednesday video um but you guys should let me know down below what's your favorite publishing company, um, or just take a gander at your favorite book and what publishing company published that, and we can talk about that, or we can talk about who has the best covers, because um, that's all handled by a publishing company as well, so keep that in mind. I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.